it's not a right. It's more like a privilege to have a place. Farah Ledu has been homeless since March. This mother of three says she's priced out of the market. With disability and child welfare benefits, she almost gets $1,600 a month. All of it goes to rent. Every single month, it was always, okay, do I um, short the rent $100 so I can buy uh, food for my daughter, basically, just for her to eat. I, I, you know, if I didn't eat, that was fine. Sleeping on a mum's couch, Ledu gets up every day at 7 a.m. to apply for rentals. I can't even find anything. It just, there's no, no, no places. There is an extreme lack of affordable housing in the city across the board. There is a lot of organizations. There's at Gwyn Development Corporation, there is a huge demand for the 94 affordable units, but they are at less than 1% vacancy rate. We had 1,163 applications for housing last year. We only had 18 available units throughout the whole year to fill. So there is quite a disconnect in terms of the need versus, versus the supplies. Saskatoon City Council knows it's a problem. So after much debate, it passed sweeping changes to its zoning bylaws. That means a house like this could be turned down and a fourplex of some kind can go in its place. It's all part of Ottawa's Housing Accelerator Fund to boost housing affordability. We only have inventory available for 1.5 months until we have nothing left to sell or to purchase. Chris Garrett with the Saskatchewan Realtors Association says the fund will boost housing supply. HAF, the money, the dollars, will be spent directly trying to uh, generate inventory on the part of the continuum that we need it, right? So affordable units, units that are affordable not just for ownership but for rent, um, removing some red tape. Yeah. But developers say to achieve that, the city needs to drop some red tape. In order for us to get that condensity, the city needs to remove a lot of other red tape they put in place. And one of them is that the ratio with the parking restrictions. That's the biggest hurdle. Until construction begins, it's gold comfort for people like Ledu who are waiting to get into an affordable house now. Well, I know quite a few people that have had a place and now, and families, and just because of housing, their families are separated. British Dayal, CBC News, Saskatoon.